Welcome to Successful Tradings, where you will learn to trade options as a beginner. Bonjour, bienvenue sur Successful Tradings. Successful Tradings. Successful Tradings. Hello, welcome to Successful Tradings, where you will learn to trade options as a beginner. Bonjour, bienvenue sur Successful Tradings. To successful tradings for this uh, uh, subscription trade alerts for the week of starting September 21st and expiring on September the 25th. So we are going to go through this and uh, provide uh, strikes for the calls if bullish, strikes for the put if bearish. Yeah, so that's what we do every Saturday. We're going to do them for the first 10 very quickly on here. And uh, for the other ones, you can use the ATR method. I hope now, since we publish a video on how to pick a strike price based on ATR, there should be no surprises to anybody. So meaning that I can go without making this video, you will still know how to trade, hopefully. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's, let's, let's get going here. The first one on the list is none other than B1. Wow, B1 is not number one. Yeah, B1 is number one, folks, because for the last two weeks, you could have traded B1 every single day, you will have made money. I'm just saying. Yeah, so this week, uh, B1 closed at 149. Okay, fine. So for us, uh, on here, we can, let's actually, the easiest way, I've always told you guys this, right? If, if it's going to trade in one direction, I look at the weekly chart and it's going to tell me what's uh, the, the ATR for that, for that week. 123, 149. That's twenty six dollars there about. The next day week it's one thirty six, one third, one fifty eight. That's twenty two dollars there about. So many. If we took twenty dollars on this stock, we pretty much we have a high probability of it in that direction. So B one, the first one here, one seventy five calls. What am I doing? Uh, is that say one seventy five? Okay, maybe one seventy, one seven zero. So about that. So one seven zero calls. And on the put side, we remove twenty dollars out of that price. Jeez, my pencil keep making noises. So one fifty, or I'm rounding up. Yeah, this is not an exact science. You tell me, yeah, but you didn't pick one dollar. You get the idea. So one thirty puts, one thirty puts, one seventy calls. So that's B one. The next one is advanced micro devices. Sorry about that, but my pencil is a little bit reluctant. Recalcitrant, I should say, not even reluctant. So AMD. Uh, what did MD last week? MD didn't move that much. Yeah, it was it was okay here from the open to the high. Just for just shy of four dollars to be honest with you. But folks, here's the trend. Yeah, these are the type of things that when you are doing your study, you are studying, right? You are not just showing up to trade and you are wondering why you're not making okay. Did I say that loud? Okay. So studying of the chart, lower highs, lower lows bearish and i don't have to think twice close below moving average ema 8 oh boy what can i find a great price on 68 puts yeah goes without saying <laughs> so well, 68 puts on amd yeah on the call side we can go and recapture trying to recapture the the upside 80 calls as long as the stock is moving, so about that, I don't know what I have in my eye. You don't need to be in the money to make big money. Yeah, it's the direction that you, you're trading that's going to get you money. So, uh, next one on the list, win. Yeah, win is in the top three. Yeah, because win, believe it or not, is I know it's difficult to trade. Win, win is difficult to trade. It, it's one of those. But my friend, uh, again, the trend. Notice that the trend. I just showed you the weekly trend on the AMD, yeah? They are all trending alike. So here, it's close at 77. Oh, yeah, this is 77. I was confusing it with the next one on the list because those two are usually almost like 77 for this thing. I was like, oh, my goodness. So 77. So the lower Bollinger Band here is a big. Hey, we would love to take that. So the next run value on there for win. On the downside, again, I'm looking at the trend first. Don't ask me why Telex is doing puts first. This, that's the trend <laughs> and support was there 70 puts yeah on the call side is this thing want to recapture that 85 84 85 calls yeah 
I'll, I'll take that. The next one, yeah, the next one is a surprise. Even for me, when I saw that as an red but this one, believe it or not, sneakingly, every time I've been putting it on. Okay. Is this weekly? Yeah. We just showed you three stocks, right? Um, no, two, two, two of them. Advanced Micro Device and Win, where you saw three consecutive red book. This guy is actually posting three consecutive green candles, though it couldn't sustain. But uh, that's at least showing something. Does this mean that this thing had support? Yeah, well, well, we don't know. Let's see. 62 puts. And on the upside, well, it needs to at least recapture this, uh, this first of all, the EMA, which is at 67.47. But I mean, let's round it up. 68, which is going to be, yeah, $3 up, $3 down. Uh, NVIDIA, that is what taking that trade. Because uh, if, even if, if you strangle it, it's not going to be expensive. Trust me, it is worth taking it. Now, for me, I'm seeing something on here at the long term range, but we are not there another time. So this thing actually could go lower before doing that. So 62, 68, one of those two is going to be in the money. I'm saying that we are on Saturday. It could be in the money actually on Monday. We have seen that story before, but that doesn't mean to preclude you from trading it the rest of the week. Yeah, to say, oh, it was already in the money. Fine, another strike. All of this strike could be in vain because if the market got violently in one direction, we're gonna we have been there before. Next one on the list, Nvidia, Nvidia, Mr. B, ten background Nvidia, ten background Nvidia. That's all I have to say, Mr. B. Great stuff. Uh, 487 NVIDIA. NVIDIA, this is the weekly. I mean, the weekly range for this thing has just been, wow. So 532 to 480, that's, that's 50 points for NVIDIA. And if you think that that was the only time, how about the previous week? 469, 422, so 30 points, that's exactly 50 points. And before that, my friend, from the open to the high, 589. That was 72 points. So 50 points is what NVIDIA like, loves doing. Fantastic. So what are we going to do? And they're expensive, my friend. They're expensive, especially early in the week. So NVIDIA, we're going to say the high of that candle where it's coming from is 527. So we're going to 530 on the call side. But here, my friend, now 50 from 487, you see? <laughs> so uh, that will be... 435-ish, yeah, 435-ish, okay, they're expensive, this thing are expensive, but that's okay, okay, next, Facebook, oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Facebook, look at this, Facebook gave just 26 points between, or oh, 20 points, yeah, I mean, compared to NVIDIA, that's nothing, yeah, so support is at the EMA here, 245, and so the like, fun, 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 so 275 calls for Facebook, 275 calls and um, on the put side my friends 225 but let's say here if this thing drop 240 230 yeah 230 yeah 230 230 puts next on the list is virgin galactic virgin galactic what's that Alex? virgin galactic so is that a name of a drink no virgin galactic space so didn't move much that week, but I think it's ready. Uh, is it going to complete the U? We, we love the U's, right? So uh, these are relatively cheap, but they're volatile at the same time. So because you will see this thing like up seven points, eight points. So 17, what do we do here? I mean, we can be either conservative, 19 calls. It's ready, all right. 19 call, 15 puts from 17. No question ask. <laughs> Next on the list is IBM. Wow. When was the last time IBM was an alert for us? How hasn't been? Look at this. Look at this. Has anybody made money on this IBM thing for geez, since July? I mean, a little bit here. Oh my goodness. These are weeklies. ATR on the weekly is like three points. Sheesh. Okay, my friend, proceed with caution. Yeah, if this thing doesn't make a big move with volume or anything, it's gonna not be the first one to, to jump. But it's interesting that it's alerting. We love that when something has an alerting in a long while, and now all of a sudden it's alerting. We are all over that. So we're saying it's not moving that much, meaning that when you see something like this, right? This is teaching here, sideways like this, 
the implied volatility has come down greatly. So meaning that on that option chain, they're going to be absolutely, absolutely super cheap. So for us at 123, if we can master five points, then bagger the line, people. Then bagger for five points. How about that? So 128 call. And on the downside, you're looking at it. It's staring at you straight in the face. Support has been at 116. 116 puts. That's how we do it. So how many have we done? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're only doing 10. I'm only doing 10. Oh, yeah, beside. I mean, it's 10 minutes into the video. So I need to keep this video manageable. You know what to do. You have a video now that taught you ATR. So you guys are pro. And Mr. Ace, great job on Square, my friend. We're just reviewing your, your trade with... Um, on square with some with uh, a, a a fellow trader who had the one on one. In case you didn't catch it, folks, in this video I can tell you that Mr. Ace traded square on the upside on calls, one sixty calls from twenty cents to what what's a dollar or something for six hundred fifty percent, and then that was on Tuesday. On Thursday he was making money on the put side for four hundred and twenty percent. Mr. Ace, I need your Twitter account. I need to tag you on that on that trade. That's uh, that's what I'm doing next year. So after IBM, who do we have on the list? I, Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Somebody mentioned about Caterpillar. Was it? I don't know who mentioned about Caterpillar. That Caterpillar was bullish, while the rest of the market was bearish. So yeah, that's what's been going on here. So Caterpillar hasn't put back-to-back -back red weeks forever. You have to go in May for Caterpillar to put red wig. He put it in the red wig, meaning that it's all system go. Bias on the calls on Caterpillar. <sighs> Telex, this is how you are doing your your so-called quant analysis. This is garbage, yeah? <laughs> so, okay, right. That's what the chart is telling me. I'm playing probabilities here, my friend. Wherever Caterpillar opens, you go higher from that because you expect a green wig. Let's say, yeah, it could be a case that, hey, we gap down bigly. We know that. <laughs> That's a big possibility. But you go from there. If we gap down, on none of these uh, uh, strikes that I'm giving are going to be of your value. I guarantee you that. So on Monday morning, we will have people already I mean to Hey, Telex, the market gap. And I don't know. So what's the, the, the typical weekly here? So the typical weekly move on here, this is eight points, seven points, eight points, another eight points. Uh, almost six points, so eight points from here, my friend. You you got it. 160. Thank you. 160 calls and eight points in the other direction should take us about 145. And I like that the yellow line is exactly right there. 145 puts. You see, this is picking up strength. Is I I need to be recording. Oh, you are recording this, Telex. All right, fantastic. Last one on the list, not the last one on the list. You have to do the other ones, folks. Yeah. I'm going to be doing my list on Sunday nights as usual and giving them to you. Oh my goodness, target. No wonder. Has not done anything after all of this. Nice move here. So some people could be insinuating that, oh, no, the cop on the handle here. This is a nice shape, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay, so right now we are standing here. Last week was $2. Yucks. The week before that, $2 again. So now the system is alerting, meaning it's time to go. So meaning we will resume. Uh, an expansion of this type eight dollars on here fantastic uh how about this one on here five dollars so yeah let's not be crazy about this guy here so 154 so 155 calls 155 calls now the price is reached on its earning right yeah remember the earnings eh? yeah 156 and then on the downside uh what's the ema here as well 142 yeah, 142 and a half if they, those exist or whatever is close. Okay, folks, we don't be one. We don't uh, AMD, Win, Gilead, NVIDIA, Facebook, uh, Virgin Atlantic, SKA, AKA, SPCE, IBM, Caterpillar, Target. The rest left for you are Lulu, Boeing, Chevron, Royal Caribbean, Exxon, Nutamix, Cooper Software. I have a personal reason to not even spend time trying to, to get to any one of those. And I know one of them is going to pop. That, that's how it usually goes, right? So, yeah, we see you, NTNX. So, meaning that when we, when we're going to strangle that at some point during this week and just keep quiet. Uh, so, the one that's for us, we are really looking forward to. Who are we looking forward in the most? NVIDIA, of course. Uh, but Win and Gilead, they are definitely. And, you know, if NVIDIA is moving, AMD is moving. 
that's all we have for you this week folks uh, hopefully you are having a great weekend so i had to quickly put that on here sorry that's a little bit late compared to some of the time zone that we are dealing with we'll talk to you uh, in pre-market on uh yeah on monday god willing thank you bye bye